Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. Today we're going to take a really quick look here at Archman 2020-1. So brand new release here for our code name is Lake Van, a beautiful lake which uh, let me go back over here to the default desktop settings real quick and go back to the default wallpaper which is the beautiful Lake Van in Turkey. Uh, this distribution is developed in Turkey. Again, my first time of using this, pretty straightforward Calamari's installer, uh, boots quickly, and I'd say it's uh, pretty much a full-featured, medium-sized distro. Just a quick and easy way to install Arch if you're not into, say, Manjaro or uh, something that's heavily themed. You've got the XFCE desktop in place here, which makes this very light and fast. Briefly, let's uh, do a quick rundown here. You're looking at the uh, kernel uh, 5.4.8, so pretty recent kernel. You've got Pamac 9.2, updated Archman settings manager, things like that. Uh, the latest in XFCE 4.14, uh, latest in Firefox at 72. Uh, Calamari's the installer is 3.2.17, so lots of updates there. One of the things I want to point out is you've got three icons when you boot in. This is exactly what you see. This is kind of the layout. Trash, home, and hex chat which is a little odd for me, not the hex chat part, that's fine, keep that there, but there was no icon for installing. Now the installer is loaded and set up, there was just no shortcut for that. Also, they chose not to have a welcome screen for whatever reason, that's fine. Um, you don't have to have a welcome screen, but a lot of the distros today do offer very nice welcome screens with information about the distro and a quick and easy way to install and get the system set up. Now I'll back up again, the Calamari's installer was very fast and fluid, no issues there. You'll notice within XFCE, they've got kind of a unique panel layout here where you're kind of centered here. This is easy enough to change if you're someone who likes a full panel. The panels inside of XFCE are extremely easy to uh, change. Maybe we'll take a quick look at that. First up, I do want to mention here and kudos to the developers for including Simple Screen Recorder within media by default. So I didn't even have to install anything. I just installed this on the trusty Dell laptop and boom, I was ready to start recording this video. Uh, we did have updates here, not too crazy. 46 available updates at uh, time of install. So you'll have that, but that's uh, again not a huge deal. It should be a fairly quick update to uh, Firefox, Catfish, Bluetooth as well. Uh, you get, oh, let's jump over to Pamac. So we'll uh, go into system here, add remove software. And I'll just make mention that AUR was not turned on by default. So I did turn that on. And let's jump over here. Just a quick toggle there and bam, that's on. So we're good to go there. Pamac, in my opinion, is the way to go if you're gonna have an Arch-based distro. Uh, let's go through some of the packages briefly under accessories. You've got a decent list of accessories there. Whoops, if I could use my mouse today. So we'll go ahead and stretch up the whisker menu, which is what I like uh, as far as XFCE. And you're saying, oh, we don't care what you like, Rob. I, I get it. <laughs> uh, so you've got catfish file searches in there, bulk rename set up. GCalc, uh, two notes, you've got LeafPad, uh, text editor, and uh, then just notes, screenshot tool, software tokens, Sue Studio Image Writer, that's become one of my favorites for writing ISO files, so nice to see that there. We'll skip over education, usually that's going to be a LibreOffice app. Two games, you've got Chess and Chromium BSU. Under graphics, you've got Inkscape, GIMP, and uh, Vunor. Under internet here, as we said earlier, Firefox and then HexChat as well as you get. And then multimedia, nice lineup with MPV, Parole. You do have Pulse Audio in place. Quadlibit, which is also a very nice music collector or manager, if you will. Uh, nice way to listen to music and sort everything. Simple screen recorder and XF Burn. Under Office, I don't think it's the latest LibreOffice. I think this is version 6.2. I think we're up to 6.3 something now. And then settings, you're gonna see all the usuals there. Um, add, remove software, things like that, Bluetooth settings. Let's jump into the Archman settings manager and take a look at that. And my guess is it's just going to be a, a little bit a somewhat customized, well, 
for whatever reason it didn't like that oh there it goes that was a little slow to launch so yeah that's that's just kind of what they want to name this it looks similar to other systems within XFCE uh, so you've got your different language packs things like that user accounts that you can set up hardware with keyboard settings all right we'll move on down here under system so you do have cups in place for a printer and printer settings set up so that'll save you a little time very nice to see that we'll go back to settings here for just a minute and we'll go over to appearance and take a look at what theming they have in place this is really they it doesn't look like there's a lot in the way of theming it's uh, q o g i r i'm not going to attempt to pronounce that light and i have used that icon set uh, but this is kind of too light for my taste, but to each his own there. Uh, you've got a few others built in. Thin Ice, Default, Redman is Default, Raleigh is Default, I think Mist and Industrial. So really they've only added one there, but you can add as you like. And then the surfing icons are in place. Nothing crazy on the fonts, and the fonts do look good. And let's talk about the uh, Whisker menu for just a minute. Uh, they have by default put the categories over here on the left, which is my preference to each his own there. One of the things about the whisker menu, it's very easy to configure with a right click. We should be able to go into, there we go, under properties, appearance, behavior, commands, and search actions. So lots of changes here, and I'm not gonna step through all of this because it is a quick look, but if you don't like what you see within whisker, it's really easy to change as well as anything here in the panel. So if we go into panel preferences, just to give you one quick example, if you want a full panel, you can stretch that right out if you want to make it even smaller. Easy enough to do with this slider. Uh, some of the other changes, and I think the developers probably just said, hey, we've got XFCE, we want to give it a unique look. And you see that within other distros using XFCE. You've got MX Linux, for example, where they put the panel on the left and do a really good job configuring that on the left. Uh, for a lot of people, it makes sense there. Uh, here they have, on the dividers, they've chosen to show those. Um, you know, to give it a, a different appearance so you can see where everything is divided up. You've got your uh, log out power functions and everything here on the right hand side. And again, on the volume, this is where XFCE, even though they've made improvements there, you get every now and then this out of place extra large icon, and in this case for volume. So you can adjust that within settings. I'm not going to step in, into that here. But anyway, kind of an interesting. Uh, look to it again it's not heavily themed it's about a medium weight distro as far as what's installed so I think this would be a, a very good choice and an easy way to get an arch system installed and running again if you're not into say the theming in Manjaro by default which is using the XFCE desktop this would be a nice choice with which to go ahead and get arch set up the easy way so just want to give a quick overlook on that and thank you to the developers for uh, updated releases here within Archman. This is the first time I've ever uh, installed this, used it, or even checked it out. Uh, so I think they've done a nice job because it installs quick and easy, seems to be fast and fluid, and uh, they're keeping things updated. So uh, kudos there. All right, well, thanks for watching, and we will check you later.